morning. It's Friday. It's day five of my pantry clean out party. Um, I hope you enjoyed all week of learning the different things you can take out of your pantry um, to get you on the off processed foods and clean eating train. <laughs> um, so today we are starting, we're going to talk about grains and pastas because that is where a lot of things we should need are hidden in especially white processed flours and sugars okay so i'm sure a lot of you have pastas and grains um, in your pantry okay most of us don't have healthy pantries unless we're intentional with our healthy eating unfortunately today you need to really think about and be intentional with what you're eating. You can't just grab something off the shelf and eat it because there are so many hidden things in there that are not good for us. And not just not good for us, but they're causing chronic illnesses that can be reversed. Like diabetes can be prevented, type two. Diabetes can be prevented and reversed. Um, and the, the epidemic is just um, crazy with diabetes type two that if people change their diets, um, they would be not diabetic anymore. I mean, it's that simple. Um, so that's why we've been creating um, our cleaning out our pantry this week to so that you can replace the unhealthy items with healthy options. And today's it. Today is the last day, but that doesn't mean you can need to stop today. Just keep, be vigilant about what's in your pantry and your cabinets and just start reading labels. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to come on live in the next couple weeks with more about how to read labels and what to look for. Okay. So I asked you the last time to experiment with a new type of cooking oil. So which one did you try? How did it go when you tried using it for the first time? Let me know in the comments what you used and what happened, if you liked it, if you didn't like it. And today we're focusing again on grains and pastas. Hey Kim. <laughs> um, these can be a staple in so many households. Um, so it might be a little tricky for some of us to make this change. A lot of people eat pasta in, if not one meal, two meals a day. And um, it's worth it though to um, remove the unhealthy ones because you won't You'll see the results once you remove them and you won't realize how they made you not feel good until after you've stopped eating them. Okay, so I'm gonna help you with some of the easiest alternatives so you won't even miss the unhealthy options. All right, so what is wrong with pasta and grains? Let's start with pasta. Pasta is high in carbs, that's all it is, is carbs which can be harmful if you consume a lot at once, unless you are a long distance marathon runner that needs that burst of carbs that you're gonna burn off anyway. We all eat way too many carbs, especially when you eat your whole meal is pasta instead of the side like it should be. If we went back to Italy where pasta originated from, they eat it as a side, not the main dish. That's why they're healthy and Americans are not. So a high intake of carbs as we know, increases heart disease chances. Um, it increases pretty much every chronic illness. So pasta contains refined grains, which contribute to increased waist circumference. So your waist just grows. Blood pressure, your bad cholesterol, the LDL, blood sugar, and insulin resistance. And that's the biggest thing. Insulin resistance is what leads to diabetes, type two diabetes or people are pre-diabetic. I bet there are so many people that are pre-diabetic that don't even know it. Um, it also contains gluten, which can cause issues for those who are gluten sensitive. With my thyroid, my hypothyroidism, gluten is something I need to avoid. So I don't eat any pasta. Um, I, I removed all grains, including like the beans, black beans, kidney beans, about three and a half, four years ago. Um, to just detox my body and get all of that out of me. And now I do eat the legumes because that is high in protein and it's good for your heart and what we need. 
but I don't eat pasta at all. Um, most pasta that people buy in the store is refined. Refined pasta is high in calories and very low in fiber. You need that fiber to, um, it helps your body absorb the nutrients that it needs to be healthy. So anything that's high in refined white flour, white sugar, prevents your body from getting the nutrients it needs and it just builds up in your bloodstream and causes so many health problems. Um, most of the nutrients in pasta are stripped away during the refining process. So there really aren't many healthy benefits to refined pasta and it obviously leads to health risks. So it really isn't worth eating something that is of no nutritional value and it makes you ill, basically. There is some um, controversy around whether you should be eating grains or not. Like I stopped eating grains a while ago and have slowly added back in the healthy ones, but um, I don't eat pasta, I don't eat white flour, I don't eat white sugar, I don't eat any of that. So leave a comment, let me know what your thoughts are on grains. Um, but I always look for the nutrient dense grains that um, are high in fiber, high in protein, high in um, only good stuff, not the refined sugars and flours. So similar to pasta, um, we should watch out for the refined versions. Refined grains have all the other, um, have all the healthy ingredients removed in the refining process. So anything that's refined has a lot of stuff stripped away when it comes to pastas and grains. This leaves us with high carb, high calorie grains, and then there's starch added in. Um, and refined grains are often referred to as whole grains. Okay, but you need to be, again, educate yourself on what is a good whole grain and what is not. Refined grains lead to the same health issues as refined pastas. So in general, refined carbohydrates cause a spike in our blood sugars, followed by a sudden drop. And this causes you to get hungry again. And I know it's happened to me. I used to, when I used to eat bagels, when I lived on the East Coast, and I would eat even just a half a bagel. And within a half an hour, I w had crashed. I felt terrible. I felt sluggish. And that back, this was about 20 years ago. I knew I couldn't even eat that kind of food then because it was having an effect on my body. Because I wasn't eating any protein, I wasn't eating any fiber, I wasn't eating anything other than carbs. And carbs are, the bad white refined carbs um, are just not good for us. Um, another problem is that when we eat more grains, we eat fewer healthy foods. So people often eat grains instead of vegetables and healthy proteins and fats that we need, our body needs. And if you're eating um, if you're going to eat grains and pastas, make sure that they are whole wheat or made from plant-based proteins. And make sure that most of your meals contain vegetables and healthy proteins and fats. I'll post um, a, a graphic of what a healthy plate should look like. And um, your meal should all have, half of it should be vegetables um, in some form. Because your body needs it, it triggers the nutrients that it needs. Um, it's the fiber that our body needs to get rid of the, um, the stuff that we eat that is not good for us. Okay, so pasta is easy, pretty easy to get rid of. T toss the boxes and get rid of them. Um, they are, if they're not whole grain, um, sprouted or made from a plant protein, you should not be eating them. They make pastas now that are made out of um, I think like chickpeas or lentils. I haven't tried them yet. I want to. They don't have them at the store I shop at, so I have to go somewhere else. But I want to try them. I've heard they're really good. Um, if, you're usually, if you usually use grains for cooking purposes, look for grain-free flours like coconut or almond flour. That is all I use is coconut and almond flour. Um, like I said, when I got rid of all grains about four years ago, I stopped using white flour. And um, yeah, I make cookies with almond flour. I make everything um, with it and it tastes just the same. Um, grains that you should get rid of are any that aren't whole wheat or that are obviously refined. And this includes breads, bagels, cereals, oatmeal, and other similar foods. 
I would watch the whole wheat. If you are gluten sensitive like me, even if you're buying things that are gluten free in the store but are processed, they add so many other things to it that like rice, um, flour and things like that, that I don't eat white rice either. I only eat brown rice. So um, you need to watch that. It's, that's why I make my own bread because it's so, you can't find one on the market that doesn't have added stuff in it. And you really need to be careful. Um, and it was, it, they're really easy to make. I don't even use a bread maker. I just put it in the oven and it's really easy. Um, one alternative to refined pasta is whole grain pasta. It contains fiber, manganese, and selenium. You can also buy pasta made from lentils and other legumes like I had mentioned. And these uh, offer a lot more health benefits than refined pastas because for one, the lentils are full of protein, whereas white pasta has no protein whatsoever. Um, there's no refined sugars or, or flours in there, so it's just healthy to start with. Um, some people choose to exclude grains like I did, but I'm slowly adding them in. Some people just don't feel good after eating grains and pasta because I 20 years ago I wasn't feeling good so I knew then um, after having gestational diabetes with both my kids um, I was at higher risk of being pre-diabetic so I knew right away to stop eating a lot of that and I never became um, diabetic at all um, there are not a lot of health benefits to these the bad pastas and grains um it's it's easy to eat it it's in macaroni and cheese our kids grow up on macaroni and cheese and you're giving them fake chemical cheese because it's not real cheese and you're giving them no protein whatsoever it's just white refined flour and sugar and the carbs turn into sugar so kids are not getting proper meals when they're just eating mac and cheese unless you make it from scratch use the better pasta the the ones made out of plant proteins and um then you have more healthier ingredients in it again look for whole grains they have more nutrients than refined but avoid the you know the gluten if you need to um so between grains and pastas look for the um plant-based and uh don't don't look for like the whole wheat because it has gluten it's the whole grain that you're looking for and if grains don't make you feel good there's no reason to eat them they are not a high nutrient food that you're missing out on okay you um different people respond differently to grains so some of us can eat them and some of us can't and i know i can't um another alternative is um, when my husband was diagnosed three and a half years ago with diabetes, we stopped, he stopped eating pasta. I will use spaghetti squash as, um, for him to eat like spaghetti and meatballs. You can also use, um, zucchini and you can, um, spiral it and make it look like, so you know, p um, pasta, spaghetti. So there are other alternatives. You get, you need to be creative, um, until healthier things come on the market. There's so many things that even if it's made and it's healthier, but it's in a store, a lot of times it's not healthy for you. Okay. So if you have learned a lot this week, please leave a comment and let me know. I will um, post later on uh, a packet for you to refer back to. And just to remind you that I go over this and so much more in my six week wellness program that starts in January. And it's a program that some people will stop eating these foods and try and reintegrate them and realize they don't need them, like sugars and fats and things. So it covers a lot. It covers the history and the science behind a lot of what I've been talking about this week. So I will put a link in there and it takes you right to a description of the program so you can read all about it. But I just want to thank you for showing up this week and for um, cleaning out your pantry. I know it can be not fun. <laughs> Every time I look at mine and I'm like, oh, I need to clean it out. Not food-wise, but just I store a lot of my appliances in there. Um, I just don't want to do it. But food definitely needs to um, be 
gone through more often just for expiration and especially things that are not healthy for you. If you are ready to start 2020 um, healthy, then this is the way to do it. Start cleaning out your pantry now because <laughs> the new year starts in about two weeks. So you'll be all set for um, the new year to start on the right foot, okay? So just remember that what you're going to eat, um, you eat what is close to you. And if your pantry is full of food that's not healthy for you, that's what you're gonna eat. So if you wanna eat healthier, you need to replace what you have with healthier alternatives. So again, please leave your comments. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for joining me and I will see you soon. Bye.